Hey team, we're back for one more segment to make sure that you've seen all the different choices there are for elective tours. Here we are in the gym. You won't hear about all of our sports right now, but you can hear about those once you get here and as we move on in the school year. For now, you're gonna see your last segment, which includes all the industrial arts. Woods, power mech, electronics, pre-engineering, metals, and also some computer courses, intro to, to computer programming and coding, as well as cyber defense. So remember to jot down your questions, put down your top five list, and we'll see you back at the end. Hello, future Glenlawn students. My name is Mr. Heinz, and I teach grade 9, 10, 11, 12 woodworking. So why would you take woodworking? Well, if you like working with your hands, woodworking gives you the opportunity to uh, develop and make some pretty cool projects that you can take home and admire for years to come. Uh, woodworking also provides some lifelong learning skills. What I mean by that is you're gonna get older, become an adult, move out of your parents' home, you're gonna get your own place. And the skills you learn here is gonna give you confidence to uh, do repairs, do renovations, uh, maybe build a deck, uh, fence, things like that. Woodworking also opens up the door to some possible career choices. You want to be a cabinet maker, a carpenter, or a millwork, and things like that. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, grade nine projects that you guys will be making this year. Here we have some simple uh, puzzles. Uh, over here we've got a utility table with some uh, walnut inlay, it's pretty cool. Uh, other projects here, we've got uh, gumball candy dispensers. We also have a barbecue scraper, you might have seen that before. We also have different types of um, cutting boards, uh, end grain or butcher block, we have edge grain. And we also have some pretty cool charcuterie boards that you guys have a possibility or opportunity to make. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm super pumped to see you guys next year. And until then, it's uh, bye for now. Hello, my name is Mr. Bean. I teach electronics here at Glenlawn Collegiate. Uh, I not only like to concentrate on the theory, but also on designing and building some really cool projects. So come with me and I'll show you some of them. All right, now what you'll see here is some of the projects that I like to show my students in grade nine. These are projects that you are gonna be building throughout the years in Glenlawn. So I start off with a fortune telling uh, piggy bank. Uh, then we go on to the nerve tester, which will give your friends a shocking surprise. From there, I go into battle bots, in which you get to build a battle bot with a remote control and you get to fight against each other. Then we go into audio visualizers, audio amplifiers and electric banjos, uh, LED lamps that you can custom design, drones, airplanes, custom projects, and all kinds of cool stuff. So I hope to see you next year in Grade 9 Electronics with me, Mr. B. Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Bridges, the Power Mechanics teacher at Glenlawn Collegiate. Uh, I'm responsible for the Grade 9 through Grade 12 classes. And I just wanted to give you a little snippet of uh, the Grade 9 class uh, for next year. So, First off, I want to say this is all hands-on, so uh, we spend as much time as we can in the shop and um, I like the learning that way and, I, and my students do as well. So for next year, what we can expect to do um, in grade 9 is we, we learn basic tools and power tools. Tools that take tires off of cars, okay? Tools that we use to fix suspension on cars. Um, from that point, I like to focus on engines. The big project for grade nine is taking apart a lawnmower engine with a partner and rebuilding it. So we take this whole engine apart, put it back together, and the big test at the end is if it actually runs. So we put gas and oil in there and we start them, okay? Uh, we look at little two-stroke engines. This is a small engine off of a remote control airplane. Uh, one of the major pieces of equipment we use in the shop is a tire machine. This machine here is used to remove tires and wheels from our rims so we can fix them, okay? At the very end of the course, we learn a little uh, basic fundamentals on welding and we do some metal cutting. So 
As my students progress through high school in grade 10 and 11 and 12, then we start looking at more of the systems on cars and repairing customer vehicles. So I uh, hope you choose my class. It's lots of fun. We'll see you next year. Intro to Coding is a class offered here at Glenlawn where you learn basic coding skills by exploring with technology and making games. In this class, you will learn the basics of computer programming by making games. We use the computer language JavaScript to create different kinds of projects. This course will take you from having zero knowledge to understanding the basic concepts of computer programming. Yes, it's fun. There's many different reasons for why it's fun. I love coding because I can make cool games and let everyone in the world play them. Hey, if you want to learn how to hack and write cool computer languages, this class is the right choice for you. You will learn how to protect your devices from bad and suspicious hackers and learn about how everything in the technology world works in depth. The world we live in today, almost the whole population has access to the internet. When you are online, you need to keep safe and be cautious of what you do. Taking cyber defense class will help you learn the basic skills you need in keeping yourself safe over the internet. You will learn some tools that will help you check if websites are safe or not. A bonus is that you can participate in competitions. What you will learn throughout this course is the basics of coding that will help you develop an understanding of how the world works over the internet. It will also teach you how software engineers use math and science to problem solve logically and creatively. Hi, my name is Mr. Beam again, and I teach pre-engineering at Glenlawn Collegiate. So here at Glenlawn Collegiate, uh, these are some of the projects that you're going to work on grade 9, grade 12. So what I like to do is I like to start off my students with learning a little bit about simple machines, complex machines, uh, building and structures, and some hydraulics and electrical engineering. Then, once you start going into grade 10, 11, and 12, we start going into more complex things. So you start off with a basic claw like this, move into a more complex one like this by grade 12. Uh, at the same time, I do electrical engineering, aeronautical, environmental, and mechanical engineering. So come with me and I'm going to show you what we do with 3D printers. So this is our digital fabrication lab where students learn to work with laser engravers, 3D printers, and CNC's to both build projects and personal ideas. So students will start off with simple stuff like this case that they'll 3D print and move on to complex stuff like Predator and the Terminator. So come with me and join pre-engineering next year. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Sobering. Welcome to Metals. If you enjoy working with your hands and building cool projects, metals just might be for you. In grade nine metals, we begin with sheet metal projects to have you begin working with some common metalworking tools. In the past, we have made projects such as cell phone stands, desk organizers, and toolkits for you to hold your pieces for your projects. Additionally, we use a process called sublimation to print photographs on aluminum as part of our sheet metal unit. After sheet metal, we play around with plasma cutting. The plasma cutting torch allows us to cut many different types of metals and allows us to cut intricate designs. To get you comfortable with the process, we start with a practice project and have you cut out your initials. 
After that, you are free to do a custom plasma cutting project like you see here. And then after plasma cutting, we do some welding. Let's go check out the welders. Safety first, let's go. Or even forging while using the oxyacetylene torch. If you continue to take metals throughout high school, we will continue with using similar tools and processes to create a variety of cool projects such as furniture, fire pits, grappling hooks, and other custom projects of your choice. I hope to see you next year in metals. Well, class of 2025, that brings us to the end of our elected tour. So hopefully you've seen something that piques your interest and a few things you might have a few more questions about. Make sure you document those questions on the forums document or talk to your teacher. I'm gonna to come to you live in a few days to be able to answer those questions. We'll see you soon. Make sure you finish grade eight strong. And remember, we're better together.